Instead, the light comes on after a while, and then the rotor picks up speed. I mean, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This video is about a very strangely acting pulse motor, and I'd like your input on what you think is going on with it. What it is, I was doing another circuit similar to this type that I showed recently. There we are, show it starting up. It's kind of, it started off as a Bedini circuit and then pretty much everything got removed. I'm experimenting at the moment with a little bit of an output stage, but it's one transistor and one LED. I'll show the circuit diagram. So what I thought I'd do is to make a traditional looking sort of pulse motor, you know, that myself or Grand as an old man or lid motor might make and see how that fared with the same circuit. But I'll show you what happens. Okay, so here we have a AAA battery. We've got a 1F super cap. The coil itself is 300 turns times 2. So it's like a um, 300 plus 300 turns coil of 30 gauge wire. And then a sort of semi levitated rotor with all the magnets facing in one direction. I thought if I put the power to it, Hang on a second, this is why I've got the tripod. If I put the power to it, uh, you know, I might be able to flick the thing and it'll start up. But that's not really what happens. Instead, the light comes on after a while. And then the rotor picks up speed. I mean, what's going on? That is very strange. As you saw, there was quite the delay before anything happened. Okay, so that's the basics, and I've moved the camera a bit so you can see perhaps a bit easier. Now, so if I juice it up, we do get a, a sound from the coil. You can see that um, the rotor is sticking in between two of the magnets. If I release, after a little while, that LED, <laughs> yeah, that LED should come on, and if you can hear, there's a noise from the coil which goes higher in pitch it goes higher and higher until the light goes out <laughs> I really don't know what's going on let me just put this back down again okay so put power to it again a little bit of a flash sticks in the middle there but if I try and turn it try and start it up the light doesn't come on if I release the battery we give it a few seconds there we go. You might be able to hear that noise. And it'll spin around and then the light goes off. I have absolutely no idea why it does this. Spin a bit quicker. And away it goes. And the sound goes higher pitch, the rotor goes faster. It is a bizarre thing. Okay, so one question might be, what happens when you take the super cap out of the equation? So now we just have the battery, the transistor and the LED. Well, let's give it a little power and we'll find out. Okay. No LED coming on. That's obviously attracted to there. Spin it up maybe. And we get no light. Try it quicker. Nope, still no light. But, it's sticking in the one place there. There's obviously power going through the coil. Alright, so, next what I'll do is I'll put the super cap back in. There we go. Give it some power. Oh, there we go, what's going on there? A little bit of light and a bit of sound. Try and spin it up. All right, release. I have to go about a, a volt in there or somewhere. It's definitely, definitely trapped into the coil. And there we go. With that high pitched whine. And give it a bit of a helping hand. So, this is what gets me. What is going on with the super cap that isn't going on with the battery? And why does it run like that? 
Now, I'd like to think it's just voltage related. Maybe it has to get to about one volt, somewhere like this, instead of one and a half of the battery, and then it'll work. But what's confusing me most, I suppose, is because this circuit has started out life as a five volt fan driver, and that's evidently a USB power bank. There's power in this, and it's working absolutely fine. So what's the difference? Okay, thanks very much for watching.